When it comes to car insurance, do you know how you can tell if someone is a Fred Lawyer customer? Hmm, there's one and there's one. At Fred Lawyer Insurance, we've built a good reputation of saving people just like you money on your car insurance. And you could join the thousands of real people who are getting real savings by switching to Fred Lawyer Insurance. A smile doesn't cost anything. And neither does calling Fred Lawyer Insurance to see how much money you can save on your car insurance. Pick up the phone and call Fred Lawyer Insurance. If you don't call, you don't save. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is being brought to you by Fred Lawyer Insurance. It is scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the XKO Featherweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the Young Ideas Blue Corner. This freestyle fighter stands five feet, seven inches tall, weighing in 145 pounds, bringing to the cage undefeated, one victory, zero defeats, fighting. Out of Dallas, Texas, representing Fortis MMA, make some noise for Fernie Garcia. His opponent across the cage, fighting out of the Jim Ross Red Corner. This freestyle fighter stands five feet, seven inches tall, weighing in 148 and a half pounds, bringing to the cage one victory, three defeats, representing Ethos Jiu Jitsu and MMA, fighting out of Athens, Texas. Put your hands together for Chase, the ace, Johnson. Your referee, Don Turnage. All right, Jim, listen, you received your rules before you step in the cage tonight. There's three more things you must do. You must fight when I say fight, stop when I say stop. Most importantly, it tells you to defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves now, back up, and good luck. Garcia in the black. Johnson in the red. One and oh versus one and three. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. XKO 38, Chase the A's Johnson, Fernie Garcia, ready to bring the pain. We are ready to go. Well, we're, we're going. We're going. Freddie, uh, Freddie, I'll tell you right now, Freddie. Freddie Garcia making his debut with XKO. He's 1 0 as a pro. Chase the A's Johnson out of four fights, one victory, three defeats. Looking to change that tonight. Yeah, and I don't think that's indicative of Johnson's ability by no, any means. I no. really don't. And, and so it's, it's, it's going to be interesting. Again, we've got an, another guy out of Fortis MMA, very talented young man. So, you know, big, heavy, heavy-handed. You, you know, know one heavy-handed. At 145, very heavy-handed. You know, one thing I was talking to, talking to Chase after every one of his fights, the one thing he says is, I didn't push the pace enough. You know, and that was one thing that he continually struggles with is pushing the pace. He knows he has it in him. He knows when to hit the gas pedal, but it happens in later rounds instead of the earlier rounds. Yeah, yeah. Well, Garcia is definitely showing that he's, you know, very patient, kind of a stalking thing. Both guys, both guys really throwing each other out. And, and again, right there, you, you, you can see Garcia is yeah, he's very talented, very, very slick hands. You know, he works a full-time job. I believe, if I'm not correct, he's also a student. And you know what? He is, he's making a career for himself outside of fighting, which takes a lot of time and a lot of dedication. Well, I tell you what, you, you know what? That's smart because you know what? You can only fight for so long, and if you don't make it to the big show and you don't make the big money, 
you need to have something to fall back on. He's a smart kid, using his brains, but he also likes the fight game. And I'll tell you what, he's he's definitely reason to be here. Yeah, and he's, listen, he's landing pretty much at will against Johnson, you know, just kind of taking him down, take, you know, walking him down, walking him down, throwing a yep. few shots. He's 25 years old, resides here in Dallas, Texas, works with Coach Safe Saeed out of Fortis. Yeah, he looks 18. Well, he said he prefers both ground and stand-up. So in this first round, well, and, and right there, I mean, using his hands to come in and take the shot to try the takedown here and, you know, going to make Johnson work hard. Johnson needs to be in a position right there to control and use those elbows. That's what I'm talking about. Use those elbows. Yeah, if only you wanted no part of those elbows to the air, to the ear. Well, I'll tell you what, that'll knock you out. Oh yeah, quick. I, yeah, you can I, you right can, behind the ear. That's right. And that was that was a nice, that was a nice kick. But again, Garcia, man, he just wants to. I mean, man, throw those hands, and he is. You know, it was almost like they were just kind of in that that chill mode, fighting, right? Until they heard that ten count. They, that just seemed to walk, wake them both up. You know, talking about Fernie Garcia, he moved to Dallas. He trains full time with Coach Safe, and he's a senior in college in business administration. And we're talking about Fernie Garcia. He uh, he's attending part time college. He's born and raised in El Paso, Texas, and he would train at the Tenth Planet in El Paso before he moved here. You know, later in the night, I hope that everybody at home is enjoying a taste of XKO because we are so glad that we can finally bring this to the people. Selling out every event, we are so glad that you all could join us. Chase said he's full of flashy kicks, fast and explosive, explosive movements, one punch power knockout, but he hasn't gotten the chance to show his fans yet well he, he you know what he just lost that first round handedly to garcia and johnson needs to get after it right here and he needs to be the one pushing the pace use some head and body movement do not walk back that little check kick is not going to do him a lot of favors because garcia is just going to keep moving forward yeah the little check kick i mean i want to see more out of chase because he has powerful leg kicks he really does Either you're going to give him or you're going to get him. It's going to be one of the two. Well, and, and you know what? I mean, he's so tentative right now that Garcia is able to tee off on him at will, be it with the legs or the hands. Neither one is even concerned about a takedown at this point. Have you noticed that? Well, in, in, you know, in that first round, in that first round, Garcia went for the uh, went for the takedown. And Chase was able to stuff it. Chase shrugging it off. No big deal. He kind of got him around the cage a little bit, but Chase is one of those fighters where don't sleep on him. Don't sleep on Chase, the ace Johnson. Now, that's, oh, a, that, yeah. that's a solid leg kick right there. We need more of that. We need to follow that up more. Set him up. Set, you know, and that's the thing about Chase is he can set up. He can <laughs> shrug it off that. Shrugging off that kick by Fernie. But, you know, Chase is the thing is Chase needs to, to work on his combos a little bit more because he has great hands, great footwork, but we got to put it together. We got we got to create something. Yeah, and right and right here, don't give single serves if you will. Yeah, and that's a great takedown right there. And Garcia fantastic. And you know, he's just had his way with Johnson this whole fight. You know, we're only halfway through round or just beyond halfway through round number 2. Yeah, and they're showing great grappling ability here. Chase has got to change his legs the other direction if he doesn't want him to go. To well, the no, he can. No, he can actually. He can. Actually, there we go. There, yeah, yeah his coach like uh, change the leg position. Yeah, buddy. You, you, the, only, <laughs> the only reason you do it that way is if you're trying to trick a guy into going to the mountain. That's a high risk maneuver. Right. But he, you know, you got to move. I mean, you're down here. You got to have your hip, get your hips moving, and that's the other thing. Don't settle for being on your back. You know, fight. Try and get get back to your feet. Don't make it easy for the guy, you know? Bust your ass. Well, you know, the thing is, when you have it set in your mind where you're comfortable, and then the other guy, for whatever the reason, cranks up the speed, it's a little too late, too late to react to that. Because most fighters can match speed for speed. Aggression, aggression. But if you're kind of laying back on your heels, it's gonna be too late. 
Well, and, and I think that we're seeing that tonight. There we go. That's a, that's a great start to the escape right there. There and we he, go. And he got out of it. That's good. But now he needs to do something with it. And left, you know, almost to the 10 seconds. But he needs to do something here. And, the, right now, and I'm got, talking about Johnson, of course. Now Johnson should go right into it. Right into it. Yeah, for sure. I mean, he, you he know, some good, he has some good pep. I mean, that, those kicks, the lead leg round kicks, I mean, they're not going to do anything. Right. You know, the thing is, he had his foot on the gas pedal, and then he backed it back off. Chase, what, the thing about Chase is, if you're coaching Chase, what are you saying to him right now? Put the kid on his feet. Don't let him take the center. The, do not let him continue to walk you back. You need to, you need to switch angles. You need to be side to side. Switch angles become very difficult to hit. Be, you know, I mean, that's that, that's all there is to it. Get, you've got to get in this kid's grill. Right. You've got to bully this kid at this point. And, and I and I wonder, I, I question Ace, why are you not doing that? Because if you want to match fight for fight, right now, Fernie is blowing the fight out of the water. No, it's two rounds to zero easily. And Fernie is being so aggressive. With only one professional fight at his belt, you would think this guy is going for a title shot right now. Well, he, he is on fire. Well, he's definitely got a lot of confidence, and he should. Yeah. And he should. That's a little early for that, young man. You have to learn that as time goes forward. <laughs> Three minutes to decide the fate I was of this say, fight. I was going to say. Three minutes. You, you need to, you're going to have to wait Wait a minute. But right okay, here. Okay, now that's the chase I'm talking about. But, Get but, out but, there. But, this is what I'm talking about. Right here, turn up the pace. You need to be blazing speed right now. Everything needs to be, every movement you make needs to be fast as well. And I'm not saying underestimate somebody because they're one and out. And I'm he just winked at Chase. He looked, look, I mean, I mean, Garcia's so confident right now. He's like, yeah, whatever you do, I got you and then some. It's almost like Fernie's kind of poking fun at him right now with moving the hands. Well, it, that's, ex that's, exact, that's exactly what he's doing. And, God, that's a big leg kick. And the crowd is pulling for Fernie right now. you got a huge crowd behind us. And Chase came out. Yeah, there we go. There's some solid leg kicks that we need from Chase. But, I mean, the, the pace has got to be that the whole time. Right. The whole time. Now, I like that. He was in and he's out. He didn't get hit. With, gotta get back in. He didn't get hit with the big shot. Oh, now they're now they're, they 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 know what they're doing to each other. They know they're playing the game. Right well, now. I mean, there's a bunch of shit talking right here, yeah. and that's the speed. That's the speed that Johnson that Johnson needs to use. And instead of doing that with the hand motions and stuff, punch the man in the face. You know, don't get don't don't get into shit talking right here. Oh, there you go, double leg, perfectly done. Then he's going to wrap the leg. He's going to do single leg pick. Still going for the ankle. Didn't do it. Johnson's doing the right idea. Cage walk. Get your ass against the cage. But what he needs to do is he needs to take elbow, that. Elbow, elbow. There, there you, go. you go. Pepper that ear because. Do that and then push his head to the ground. He's going to try and suck him back down. That's, and that's, right you gotta, you've got to control the opponent's head if you're going to walk the cage. And he didn't do that. He's getting sucked back into it. And now he's in a shit position. You know, Chase came out firing on all cylinders, and it just fizzled out. Uh, well, he looked like he was going to be quick and put up, pick up the pace, but it's one thing if your body's moving quick, your hands have got to move quick. Right. And I'll tell you, there was an opportunity for Chase to use that momentum to take Fernie Garcia down. Missed the window. Right now, Fernie's definitely in a dominant position. Even though Chase doesn't feel like he's doing anything. Well, here's the other thing. If, I, if I'm Chase... 43 seconds. I, I do whatever it takes, whatever high-risk maneuver, because you're getting, you're getting beat. Yep. Punch, that, punch. Well, I mean, if that kid, if, if, if this, if Fernie puts his head down, you know, you gotta, you gotta try and do something to him. You gotta you guillotine his ass, do something. But right now, he's just, you know, my gosh, Garcia's just leaning on him in a wrestling position and just completely dominant. And Chase knows if he lets the other hand go, He's going to get taken down flat on his back. Ten seconds into the fight. Quick three rounds. Very quick. Very quick three rounds. Three dominant rounds by Fernie Garcia. Chase finally gets up. But, you know. And that's what, and that's what little, I have little. to say is, you know, Chase shows up to the fight. He does. But it's in the later rounds instead of the earlier rounds. Well, I, I don't even. I don't think he 
Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of hard-fought action, we go to the judges' scorecard. All three judges score 30-27. Your winner by unanimous decision, Fernie Garcia. All right, Fernie, come on, let's talk about it, Fernie. Two, two and oh against a seasoned fighter in Chase Johnson, preparing for this at Fortis, was there an unexpected element to the game that obviously you didn't plan for? Man, turning out Fortis was the most, the hardest thing I've done in my life so far. That was the real, the real test, surviving the, the first camp at Fortis at a big gym. And this was just the result, but the, the real, the real price was surviving camp one at Fortis. You know, definitely coming in here, all three rounds in your favor. The first two rounds, you guys were figuring each other out, but you kept the pace. You pushed the pace the whole entire time. Having one professional fight, you definitely came in here like a seasoned fighter against Chase the Ace. All the flash towards the third round didn't seem to phase either one of you guys. You guys were doing the elbows, the movement, smiling and winking. So where was the upper hand? For yourself what did you see that that you definitely gained ground throughout the whole fight man every day training with with coach safe soldiers is it's just overwhelming like there, there's nothing anybody could do that is gonna surprise me here i'm training with with the faces of abdul peterson damien john's brothers jesus christ the life goes on and on so chase is i mean he's a really tough guy as you can see but i mean fortis is where it's at and they showed today you know, definitely you came in here, you did the work. You did what you wanted to do, and pretty much the game was all yours. A senior in college, fixing to get graduate here pretty soon. You're a professional fighter. Anybody else you want to thank? Just my team. My, all my family flew down. Team Garcia, Fritlow Insurance, Fortis MMA. They can't stop us, baby. They can't stop us. Well, they definitely can't stop you. Ladies and gentlemen, Undefeated, 2-0. and oh. Ladies and gentlemen, give a round of applause for Fernie Garcia.